What is going on, everyone? This is your moron with the conscience, aka conscious. Well, I appreciate the pull up once again. Still on Twitter, just trolling the streets, strolling and not trolling, strolling, strolling the streets. No, but I came across this interesting video, you guys. Let me know what you think about what this gentleman is saying, real quick. Let's watch it again. I have proof. That Kamala Harris's economic plan is going to be a success. We've tried it before, and it worked. Her general thesis is that you just tax the wealthy, tax corporations more, and give that savings back to the middle class in tax credits and in services. That is precisely what Bill Clinton did. When he wasn't cheating on his wife or ripping great saxophone solos, this dude presented... Now, see, I had a video earlier. Well, I might have to try the description. And I, I posed the question to a few brothers. Who does... But who, who, under what political party does do black people do better? And I, I knew it was the Republicans. And, and this is just going to break it down a little bit for you guys. All right? So please share this with a black Republican. Presided over the best economy in the U.S. in the last 50 years. Unlike some other presidents, he has the policies and the data to back it up. So what exactly did he do? Well, first thing he did was sign the Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act in 1993. And that raised income tax for the wealthiest 1.2% of Americans by about 8%. And it also raised taxes on corporations. I want to bury the lead. If you look at this, in 1998, the effects of the bill helped the U.S. federal government experience its first budget surplus since the 1960s. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with what a surplus is, but it's kind of obvious, right? Surplus, deficit, surplus is when you have more, deficit is when you have less. But he's going to break that down, but, you know, just in case. And that is the truth. He inherited a pretty severe budget deficit from Bush Sr., got rid of it, surplus, and the surplus has never been back since. And it wasn't just a deficit. I mean, the stock market, he's in a league zone up there. GDP growth since the 1970s, he's number better than Reagan, who most Republicans adore because of his economic success. Clinton was better. Median household income, that's where Clinton comes in, that's where Clinton left. Did a pretty good job. Poverty rates went down under Clinton. And started to go back up under Bush. His list of accomplishments is just long. 4% GDP, 22.5 million jobs created in eight years, median income up $6,000, unemployment its lowest level in 30 years, lowest inflation since the 60s, highest home ownership rate on record, and 7 million yep. people out of poverty. Yep. I mean, he hit home run after home run on the economy. And of course, enhance the economic situation of the middle class and lower class, you're going to see a pretty significant drop in crime, which is exactly what we saw. So the truth is, this guy had the best economic record since pretty much FDR, and his policies were almost 11 to 1 with Kamala Harris. The most critical difference between Clinton and Harris is that Clinton had some corporate deregulation, whereas Harris is looking to regulate corporations. And the primary reason why that's different today than back when Clinton was president is because the amount of corporate power has dramatically increased. You'll see the amount of market share owned by these monopolized corporations just extremely different from when Clinton left office. So she has a different set of circumstances to respond to. But in general, their economic thesis almost an identical structure. So if the economy of the early 90s to the late 90s is something you're interested in and you might think that you'd do better in that, don't vote for Trump. Vote for Harris because Harris's structure is extraordinarily similar to what Bill Clinton did. There are differences here and there, but the general idea is put a heavier tax burden on the wealthiest Americans and corporations and give the relief back to the middle class and the lower class. Clinton did it. It worked like a charm across every metric imaginable. It can begin. You know, so thank you, Zach Kim Kimball. We appreciate Zach's uh, dropping the, the knowledge bombs on us about the economy and, and Harris's plan. I'm not saying it's, it's, but I remember getting it back in the Clinton days, you know, fresh out of high school work and the paychecks was lovely. I will say that. And raises were even lovelier. But, you know, just a thought. But please, guys, start looking into things yourself, man. Don't just take what anyone says, including a moron such as myself. Look into them yourself. Just don't go off of headlines. Dig deep into the information. It might take a little time, but it's better to, to be well-informed and make a decision and then just to make one willy-nilly. But let me get up out of here. As always, without you, there is no moron. Please like, subscribe, and share. Peace out.